My name is Juan Carlos Artigas. I'm an investment research manager for the World Gold Council, and I'm here today to share with you a summary of the latest edition of our Gold Investment Digest for the fourth quarter and full year 2010. Our Gold Investment Digest gives investors a snapshot of the most important drivers behind gold's performance during the year, how that compares to previous years and to other assets. In this issue, we talk about recent trends, the impact of the current global economic environment, and other dynamics in gold demand and supply. Gold's story in 2010 is about growth in all sectors of demand and not just economic concerns. Not only was gold's performance very strong, but its volatility remained low, providing a foundation for a well-diversified portfolio. Demand for gold jewelry in the most important markets continues to rise. At the same time, investors have been using gold as a currency hedge, for example, in the US and Europe, as well as an inflation hedge in many countries. They have also used it as a source of diversification and as a risk management tool on the back of expansions of sovereign debt risks in many industrialized countries. In all, 2010 marked the 10th consecutive year of positive returns for gold. It rose 29% during the course of the year, ending 2010 at $1,405 per ounce on the London PM fix. Price volatility fell from 2009 levels and it is in line with its historical average of 16%. Gold also outperformed relative to many assets, including equities, treasuries, and many commodities. The various components of supply and demand kept gold a sought-after asset for portfolio diversification, risk management, and wealth preservation. Investors continue to access the gold market in many ways, including ETFs, which continue to flourish, coins and bars, and many other financial instruments. But 2010 demand was not only driven by investment. Jewelry consumption has recovered in many important gold markets, and while we wait for Q4 data to be published in February, the value in US dollar terms of gold demand during the first nine months of 2010 has already surpassed the whole of 2009. Similarly, the positive momentum for gold usage in technology continues. At the same time, central bank behavior has switched from net selling to net buying. In all, the current macroeconomic environment, which includes sluggish growth in many developed countries and stronger growth in emerging markets, remains positive for gold. The role of gold goes beyond a tactical short-term view of the economy. It has proven to be a foundation and an indispensable tool in the investor's arsenal to manage their portfolios more effectively. To learn more about gold's performance in 2010, you can find the full report on the World Gold Council's website at gold.org.